Welcome to Twin Peaks. My name is Margaret Lanterman. I live in Twin Peaks. I am known, I am known as, the, as log the Log Lady. Log Lady. There are many stories at Twin Peaks. Some of them are sad, some funny. Some are stories of madness, of violence. Some are ordinary, yet they all have about them a sense of mystery. The mystery of life, sometimes the mystery of death. The mystery of the woods, the woods surrounding Twin Peaks. To introduce this story, let me just say it encompasses the all. It is beyond the fire, though few would know that meaning. It is a story of many, but it begins with one. And I knew her. The one leading to the many is Laura Palmer. She's dead. Laura is the one. Life, like music, has a rhythm. This particular song will end with three sharp sounds, like deathly drum beats. Hi guys, and welcome to Real Food. Join me today while I react to Twin Peaks Season 1, Episode 8. I cannot believe we are already at the finale. As I have watched every episode of this season, I have become more and more fond of the series, and I am so thankful for all of you that have joined Real Food for this journey. Oh my god. Um, every episode has really just added more layers to the mystery, more intrigue, not only to the murder of Laura Palmer, but to all of the shenanigans and the affairs that are unfolding in this not-so-sleepy town of Twin Peaks. Because of that, I really have a feeling that there's going to be some loose ends that are going to continue on into season two, which I'm not mad about. But I will say we are going to take off a week in between releasing this finale and the first episode of season two. But have no fear, we will be back before you know it with that first episode reaction. I am looking forward to what comes next. I also just want to note that we are having some difficulties with YouTube and the copyright material. So we can't always release the video as we had intended it. Uh, we have to modify some of the edits that were made and sometimes we are able to post the video, but then we do get a copyright claim after that and have to edit it within YouTube, which means things might disappear for a while and then reappear a little bit choppier than they were originally. So I appreciate your patience with this. We are toying with some ideas about how to work around that. As always, I have a delicious treat. Today, in honor of the season finale, a homemade cherry pie, and of course, a damn fine cup of coffee to keep me company. So without further ado, let's see what episode eight, the finale of season one, has in store. Previously on Twin Peaks. I shot him, Bobby. I know I did. We shot Wall now. Ugh, Waldo's death. Tragic. Tragic. Leo, I hate you even more. Leo, no! Leo, no! This was hidden in her desk. <gasps> then we can proceed. What are these two playing at? I am so shocked by this. What is going on here? Jock, is it? That's me. <gasps> oh, yeah. Cocaine bomb? I don't know. What? What's up, Doc? I want to see you. Mm, who's this sicko? Mm. For the last time, for now, classic opening.
palm trees. We're with Jacob. Here we go. Where do we look? I don't know. <laughs> Our... <gasps> Where should we start? The hideaway coconut shell. Duh. Maybe this is something. You guys gotta kind of like. Oh well, that was lucky. You guys kind of like step up the pace here. You're, you're. Umbrellas. Huh? The Kahala Hilton, July 1969. Men on the moon. August 9th, 1974. I first lay eyes on Mimsy. Huh? Uh. This spying needs to come with more urgency. Always push a button. There's gotta be a way to turn it off. <laughs> a little coconut. Oh, 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 she's good. She is good. I said something on her tape about a coconut. Oh, jackpot. Oh my god, uh, I don't know if they're going to get exploded or pulled over. Bobby, you son of a bee. Huh? Uh. Now just tell me. Tell me why you sent me to Sparkwood in 21. His jacket? <laughs> I can't take so seriously with the jacket. So he's the spy. Spying one. POV. Oh my god. I mean, that wig is pretty bad. <gasps> oh my word. What? What? This guy's got a real Jack um, outline to his bod, but is he still at One-Eyed Jacks? No. <laughs> Classic dying pose. <laughs> oh, shoot. Is Jacob done for? <gasps> Sick transition. This hairpiece is incredible. <laughs> he doesn't seem that torn up about it. <gasps> Sarah, are you absolutely sure you want another card? <gasps> yes, please. Ew. 21. Can you beat that? Mother always said I was born lucky. <laughs> oh my my. Maybe later. Thanks for asking. It's a gentleman. This is for you. <gasps> I'm a friend of Leo's. <gasps> Buy your cocktails, Jacques. Come in. Holy smoke. Turn around. Oh. Yes. Very nice. Come over here. This is a good night for you to break in. Yoner's coming by tonight. He likes to spend some time with all the new girls. Uh. No names, child. You don't offer, and you don't ask. Yes, ma'am. Pick a card. Jacques, how long you been dealing blackjack? Long enough to spot a card counter. I can't believe Leo never told you about me. Or well, maybe he did. I don't know. Leo played you like a violin. Had you and your brother taken all the risk running the product across the border. Never cut you in on a piece of the action. Whoa, Dale. Cuts right to the chase. Take the chip out of your pocket and take a look at it. Whoa. That chip has a special significance. A very special night you spent up at your cabin. Whoa. Laura. Laura. <clears throat> How do you think a low-rent hump like Leo's been financing this little operation? 
You. I'm the bank. He is a good actor. Of course not. Leo makes the buy with my cash, you and your brother mule it across the border. He ever tell you who is distributing stateside? No, some high school kid, that's all I know. Huh, Bobby? Because I've got a job for you across the border tonight. It's 10 grand. Oh, damn. How's that sound? You know this guy's greedy. He can't say no. Mm-hmm. You meet me at the water processing plant on Black Lake in two hours. Is that going to be a problem? <laughs> no problem. This guy drinks like a fish. One more question, Jock. You know, Leo told me all about that night at the cabin with the girls. I'm curious about the chip. How'd that happen? Who was that crazy bird? You had a thing for Laura. Saying her name all the time. I, I, like he's in love or something. <laughs> girls are all getting pretty high. Everybody's pretty crazy. You, Laura, and Ronette. Leo lets Waldo out of the cage. And the birdie lands on her shoulder. Oh. Laura, she's all tied up. Oh, she like that. Oh. The birdie starts picking on her shoulder. Uh, uh. So Leo, he's doing a number on her. But Laura, she's screaming about the damn bird. So Leo takes out a chip. Ew. Ew. Bite the bullet, baby. <laughs> Bite the bullet. Ew. Oh my god, Dale is having to swallow his rage See so hard. <gasps> <Can do Kirby. sighs> oh, that's that mystery Got shot. Trout on the line, Hawk. Oh, big time. This one's a keeper. Oh. Oh my word. I hate this. Okay. Okay, she's got the gun. Okay, she's going to dye her hair. Ow. What are you doing, Shelly? Why are you doing this in the sink? <gasps> you made me do this, Shelly. You made me! Oh, God, no. Was Lucy talking to you yet? As we say in a law enforcement game, it's a cold trail. <laughs> ah, women. Oh my god, I want this to be resolved before the finale ends. I can't handle this going on. Hawk, hold the line. We'll set the hook. You got a 20 on Agent Cooper? He's downstream about 10 minutes. He'll probably miss the catch, but he'll be there when we grill him. Copy that. Huh? We'll make our move as soon as the big fish shows his fins. Ready, Andy? Ready, Harry. Okay, we've got the drunken Jacques being arrested. Jacques! Keep your hands where I can see him! Put him on the roof of the car, now! You heard him! What a Canadian shirt he's wearing. You're under arrest for the attempted murder of Ronette Pulaski murder of Laura Palmer. Oh. 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 Andy? Are you okay, Harry? Yeah. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, Andy, I'm so proud of you. Uh, oh my god, but we don't want Jack to die because I still have a feeling it's not this simple. It's not this simple. Hmm. Be there as soon as I can. Proud moment for Andy, okay. What's up, Doc? It's Laura, in case you haven't guessed. I'm in kind of a weird mood. God, James is sweet, but he's so dumb. Oh, 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 oops. Oh, oh, oh. Sweet. Hey. Remember Leave James alone. Such a mystery man anymore, but you might be history man. 
Sick rhyme. Times he's tried to kill me. Oh my god, why? I guess what? No, I sure got off on it. <gasps> oh my word. Sex weird. Uh huh. This guy can really light my F I R E. Oh. 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 Here comes mom with milk and cookies. Oh my god. Later, Dad. Oh my god, what a split personality. Oh my god, we all contain multitudes. Oh my god, James, okay. you're so insulted. I'm glad I heard her say, I'm glad. <laughs> I might have gone my whole life. I'm sorry I had to hear that. <laughs> Jacoby didn't kill her, he was trying to help her. Was he in the right way? And is Jacob dead? Oh my god, now this drama now. Oh my god, Leo. Oh. Oh. No. I don't want to see a person be burned alive or exploded alive. Huh? No. You've got about one hour to think about what you've done to me. Oh my god, Leo. You sadistic prick. Looks like that Bobby Briggs is going to be dead. What the? You broke my heart! Okay, this episode ain't got time for no jokes. It is just like trauma after trauma after trauma. What now? What weird thing is happening now? Oh, pretty dress. Oh, this woman. Okay, yeah, it's going to get weird. Oh my god, is she going to kill herself? <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. <clears throat> no. Maybe she's just having an innocent solo picnic. Uh, oh, tell me she's eating something delicious, though. Oh. Okay. Okay. Nadine, don't do it. You're crazy, but don't. There's hope for you and your silent drape runner still. It's all here. Very generous, Josie. Okay, what is going on here? I do not understand. Because all that time, 90 grand seemed like all the money in creation. <sighs> this guy's a slime ball. We had an agreement. What? And we have a certain number of years to move and breathe and have our veen. <laughs> That's from a book on Oriental philosophy I read when I was in the joint. Oh, oh, oh so and maybe somebody somewhere knows how much time we have. I don't. Do you? Yeah. I like this. Wait, do I even like you, though? I don't know. 18 months, 90,000. What's that? Uh, 5,000 a month? You just got out of prison where you went in for uh, vehicular manslaughter as part of an agreement. He's got antlers. <laughs> like the devil? For which, in fact, you were responsible. <gasps> this fact could be discovered. And in one stroke, 10 or 15 or 20 more years of your life could be cut right off from underneath you. Huh? So I've been asking myself, what does that do to the market value? Huh? Of 18 months. Who's guilty here? Is she guilty of something that I'm not following? And we still do, sweetheart. Eh? Signed, sealed, delivered. And I want to take care of everything we agreed to. Ew! Don't touch her little hairs. And I want a lot for my time. Once you're in business with somebody, you're in business for life. Oh God, like Josie, what have you done? Oh God, Josie. Oh God, what? Uh, okay, is this ne necessary though? Uh, bo what? Blood packed? Partner. That's not legally binding. You know, this guy loves sucking on everything. Oh my god, what in God's name? Okay, now, okay, this is nonstop and I can't handle it. <sighs> Catherine? The Count Ledger, have you seen it? Well, don't you keep it in that little safe at home? I didn't take it. Pete, tell me the truth. 
You're not helping her to pull something here. Forget everything that we've ever said or done to hurt each other. Just like that. Yeah, right, lady? I know our marriage is a living train wreck, but there used to be something caring between us. A fella who caught my eye. A lumberjack who could scamper up a tree like a cat. This lady's just desperate now. The boss's sister from that big house on the hill. A summer's indiscretion. And here we are. Catherine. Don't fall for it. Oh my god, the music. He's falling for it. Oh my god, he's too good of a person. I have no complaints about the house. As for me, taking my principal pleasure and lashing out at the one person who was decent enough to stand by me through all my foolishness. Okay. It's too little, too late, I do believe. Somewhere under all that scar tissue, there's the faintest flicker of what we used to feel for each other. I'm asking you to feel that now. Why? Because I'm in trouble. <laughs> and given what I've become and the way I've treated people, there's no one else I can turn to. I need your help. It's true. Oh my God, Catherine. Peter. Is this just rolling of the eyes? Oh, this is still a scam, Peter. So, Fred starts up with a cuff on me, right? Now, Harry, he turns to go. <laughs> All of a sudden, Jacques throws an elbow at Fred like this. Wham! And in one move, he takes Fred's gun. And he's got oh, goodness. What's going on here? Dude. Then, all of a sudden, a single shot rings out. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, be proud, be proud. <laughs> oh my god, I'm nervous for him. Oh yeah, real privacy there. Accordion wall. Andy, I'm hunky. I'm pregnant. I knew it. Was somebody else's child? <laughs> okay, I needed a little comedic relief here. <laughs> oh my god, is it his baby? Is it somebody else's baby? Fresh I don't know what to coffee. Think. Okay. Telling Leo Johnson said to check out James Hurley. He's an easy rider. An easy rider? Oh, okay. He's trying to get him arrested. Okay, there's no explosion. Also, good voice acting, Bobby. Okay, Bobby is just working it from every angle. Did you angle. take Laura and Ronette up to your cabin that night? You know, they both been Okay, good. He's still floor. alive. <gasps> okay, good. Is that where you took the pictures for Flesh World? Yeah, that was Laura's uh, idea. She talked uh, Ronette into uh, making them ads. What did you and Leo fight about that night? Bastard. He hit me with a whiskey bottle. Why? So you used Leo's shirt to stop the bleeding. What then? What about the train car? I don't know nothing about that. I come mm. down the hill, Leo's car is gone. This guy's high as hell. I'm loving it. I brought him in. He was rambling incoherently. Oh. Uh. They're pretty incredible. So Leo had to take the girls to the train car by himself. You believe me? He's too stupid to lie. Yeah, agreed. We gotta find Leo first. Doc, how's Jacoby? He's out of the woods. Listen, he uh, he says he got a phone call from Laura Palmer. Not here. Not here. Not here either. Dead. <laughs> what are you doing? It's uh, my old high school yearbook. This guy is not focused. Oh my god, so much is happening. Oh my god, more? Oh god, they're going to call her to the... Yeah, yep. What is? What you're looking for. Drying said This lady's about to be North toast. Gate. Literally. Oh. What do you want? Talk terms. We'll let you know. 
Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. And we know he has the lighter. We know he has somebody's lighter. Oh my god, and another gun? Oh my god, I can't keep up. Oh my god, who's this? This woman? Okay, smart. Bring your gun with you. Mattresses they give you on your bunk? They're probably, you know, yay thick, you know. And you lie there at night. This mattress is so skinny. How'd they get all those rocks inside? <laughs> okay, we have no pity for you. No, don't fall for it. I dreamed of you lying there no. on that big feather bed. She didn't do a murder. I guess the uh, hired help shouldn't be so familiar with the boss lady, huh? I can't blame you for dreaming. Say what you want to say. No, don't believe this man. I'm trying to picture a whole life with you, with the diner. I always talk too big. That's my biggest fault. I learned that talking to my counselor inside. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I'm going to try, Norma. You know, it's 20 years we've been together next month. Can you believe it? Maybe we're doing this all backwards. Maybe it's the next 20 that counts. Give me time, Norma. I'll make you proud of me yet. Don't fall for it, Norma. You belong with Ed. No. 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 Nadine. Oh, goodness gracious me. Big Ed. No. Oh, God. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, God. Nadine. Oh no. I need an ambulance. Oh, I've just taken some oh pills. Oh my god. 422 Riverside. For the love of God, hurry. Oh my god. Oh my god. Are these two gonna go back to their actual spouses and their romance is gonna die? No, no. I hate all of them. Johnson's got the ground. My bet is he's holed up somewhere near his home. Sheriff, Leo Johnson called. When? About ten minutes ago, he left this message. And Sheriff, in the background when I spoke to him, I could hear a clock striking. What kind of clock, Lucy? It sounded like the clock at Easter Park. Great detective work, Lucy. Good work, Lucy. Hawk, pull the surveillance off Leo's house. I want you to set up a perimeter around Easter Park. Got it. I'll radio. You get some cars over. Harry, I gotta talk to you. Sure. Harry, let me talk to James. You want to There is so much happening. Boom, boom, boom. Harry. Wait, what? Harry, is it true? Hmm? You found him. You've got the killer? We've... Oh, gosh. That's all. But is it the man, Harry? Is it him? We can't release any details right now. I'm sorry. Excuse me. You're going back to the hospital? Oh, I'm heading mm -hmm. home. Thank you, Will. Just don't go dancing. Mm. What crazy ideas in his head. What? What does this mean? We found it. I think it'll help you find who you're looking for. Oh. Who might that be? He's going to go. Somebody with a red kill Corvette. Jack, because he thinks he's a murderer. Heart attack. He said he saw Laura Palmer tonight. Oh, is he gonna kill Jacob? Is he gonna kill? Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah. I've been very patient with you, James. From here on out, I'm gonna need a better set of answers. Let's start with why this was in the gas tank of your bike. Oh my god, there's so much scandals happening. I cannot. I can't. Ben, I am so happy. I can't even say how much. Uh, <laughs> After you. After me. <laughs> okay, what's... <laughs> Benjamin Horn here? Oh boy, what's happening now? Leo Johnson's gonna get a house call. Proceed. What? Are they killing Leo? Oh my god, so much double cross. Uh, double, triple, quadruple cross. Uh, oh boy, what now? I can't. 
take more. Shelly, are you here? <gasps> oh! Shelly's not here, Bobby. Leo, man, am I glad to see you. Okay. Oh, Actually, God. Actually, it's you I was looking for, the cops, man. They're after you. Liar! Eh. <laughs> uh, oh. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's invitation to Love's Leo? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. No. There's too much. There's too much. There's too much. There's too much. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's so many guns. Oh my god. I can't understand a word you're saying. You have a thing in your mouth. <laughs> You wish. <gasps> who are you? Shelly Johnson. You know who called me here? Doesn't everyone know everyone in this town? Please help me. Be quiet. I'm thinking. Okay, lady, think a little quicker. You s s free? Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Why are you not panicking? Oh my God, is this lady good or, or is she bad? This is the final moment. <laughs> Okay. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, 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 oh my god. Fire walk with me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Who is that? Who is that? That was Leland. That was definitely Leland because he's not going to attack. Oh my god. I can't with this. This is way too much. This is too much. This is too much. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <sighs> I mean, kill this guy for all I care, really. He's not the murderer, probably, but he's bad. You don't want to watch it, though. Oh. Wait, who's doing the murder, though? Oh my god. Oh. Uh. Uh. Actually, though, I mean, this is disturbing, but. <sighs> okay. Okay, this guy. Yep, I mean. Makes sense. You seen Catherine? No, Pete. You think she's still inside? I guess I'm gonna have to find out. Pete, that ain't such a good idea. <gasps> no! I like this guy too much. She's Don't still do it. my wife. No, she was rolling her eyes at you secretly. No, Peter. No. Oh my God! Look, the fire people help you. No. Oh my God, no. Oh my God, no. I hate this. Oh my God, this is too much. Tonight you play on the house. <laughs> this is. Marvelous, huh? <laughs> Enjoy, my friend. Enjoy. To Ghostwood. Congratulations, boss. Boss. Oh my God. <laughs> Watch. Just realized that his daughter is there. Look at the new girl. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Oh my god, no, no, no. This could not get any more insane. Is that a hunchback? Close oh. your eyes. This is such stuff as dreams are made of. Oh. Okay, Shakespeare. Suspect in custody, and Leo Johnson, the man I believe is responsible for Laura's death, won't be able to escape the dragnet. We've thrown it for him much longer. Huh. As you can hear from the ambient sound around me, and I notice with some relief that the Icelandic group staying on my floor have either checked or passed out. 
I may not need the ear pillow earplugs, which I did receive today, Diane, although I suspect I may put them to use as a purely precautionary measure. Aww. I ordered some hot milk from room service. Here's hope. Oh, okay. Oh, my God, Dale. Room service must be one of the premier achievements of modern civilization. Yeah. We need you, Dale, though. There's a lot going on. Oh, a letter. <sighs> I can't handle one more nice thing. Special agent. Oh my god, two more things. No, I can't. No, I can't. No. Cooper here. Who is this? Could this wait till tomorrow morning? No, Dale. Oh my god, too much things. Too many things. Oh. Agent Cooper, Stan Leo Johnson. He's been shot. Agent Cooper. Agent Cooper. Ah! <gasps> no! How dare you play this music after that? <gasps> no! Oh my god, wait, I have to write some things now. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. That might be the most action-packed 45 minutes of TV I've ever seen. No joke. Now I really understand the comparisons to soap operas and Invitation to Love. Not in like a direct one-to-one -one way, but just soap operas in general. Because I used to watch soap operas and they are like this sometimes. Where it's just like boom, boom, boom. One thing after the other, after the other, after the other. And so many crazy things. Obviously this is much more well done than a soap opera. But... <gasps> <sighs> Normally I have time to like eat my treat and sip on my damn fine cup of coffee and I didn't have time to do any of that. I was just glued to the screen the whole time. Oh my god. Oh. Okay. Okay. Get it together. Okay. Let's just start with basically the one piece of semi-happy information that we got because everything else was just <sighs> rocking and traumatic. Andy. Andy, first of all, you've been working on your gun skills. You shot Jacques, but you didn't kill him. You just injured him so he could still give some information, which is key. And then we found out that, I think, him and Lucy are having a baby. I'm assuming it's his baby. Anyways, that was quite sweet. Other than that, everything else was crazy. Okay. What happened? First of all, there's one main thing that I don't really understand. The other things were just really a lot of cliffhangers. The one thing I'm not totally clear about was this relationship or cahoots between Josie and Hank. What is going on there? There's something to do with the death of Josie's husband, I think, but I don't quite understand that. I don't know if I meant to or if I just missed something and I'm not understanding. If you're able to fill in anything for me in the comments below without spoiling anything because I just happened to miss it, please do. Then we have Nadine, poor sweet Nadine, killing herself, and Hank really pulling a fast one on Norma, and now I'm afraid that each of these people are going to go back to their respective spouses and not continue their affair, which I was very much invested in. Then we have the situation with the mill, and it seems like Ben Horn got what he wanted and got the deal signed by the Norwegians, and then the place was lit up by Leo, but not before Shelley was tied up there and Catherine was lured there and then they get set on fire and we're pretty sure they get out I guess but we're not actually totally sure and then Pete who's one of my favorite characters races in to save Catherine he's probably going to end up dead and they're not and he's the best so I don't like that and then speaking of Ben Blech. he's going to discover his daughter Audrey at one Eye Jack Blech. that's weird and disconcerting and disturbing what's going to happen there and then Bobby gets attacked by Leo with an axe. But before he can kill him, he gets shot by Hank. <laughs> it's just too much. But I'm so into it. And then, of course, we have unhinged Leland murdering Jack in the hospital. I didn't know if they were going to reveal that it was him, but they did. And he was wearing black gloves and a black jacket, I think. 
But I guess a lot of people were too, weren't they? Like, so was Catherine. Uh, but then somebody at the end shoots Dale. Uh. And I'm not convinced that he's dead. I won't believe it. I refuse to believe it. Because like I've said before, we don't see him die. Jack survived and he got shot. Dale's not leaving us. You have 22 episodes in season two. He's going to be there. He has to be there. <sighs> you guys, I was warned about cliffhangers and this could not have been more true. This was just cliffhanger after cliffhanger after cliffhanger. I really wish we weren't taking a breather because I need to know right away what happens, but I'm just going to be waiting in anticipation. And I hope you'll be there to join me when I tuck into season two, episode one, and hopefully get a little relief from some of these cliffhangers. So please, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Real Food, and we'll see you soon.